Hey there! I'm pretty sure that by now you know a lot of ways to express the future in English. But today we're discussing some really exciting ones. Future continuous, future perfect simple and future perfect continuous. These are tough guys, so we could do it with a bit of magic help from the wizard of all times. It's Harry Potter, of course. First, let's watch the famous letter scene. By the end of the episode, Harry will have received hundreds of thousands of letters. So, when you want to emphasize that an action will be completed before a certain point of time in the future, use future perfect simple. Will plus have plus third form of the verb. Won't plus have plus third form of the verb. A few things to keep in mind here. First, never change have in this structure. Second, pay attention to the pronunciation. In affirmative sentences, we mostly use contracted forms rather than full forms. So it's either will have, Harry will have received hundreds of letters by the end of the scene, or even shorter, love. He'll have received hundreds of letters by the end of the scene. The shorter one is used with personal pronouns I, he, she, they, etc. So, are there any signal words to let us know we have to use future perfect simple? Just a few. They are by and by the time. By tomorrow, by next week, by the end of the month, etc. Or by the time he arrives, by the time we finish the project, etc. Note that after by the time, we use present simple. By the time the episode is over, Harry will have received hundreds of letters. In case you talk about an action that will be in progress at some point in the future, it is future continuous that you'll have to use. The structure is really simple. Will be plus verb with ing ending. Won't be plus verb with ing ending. For example, We'll be serving detention with Hagrid tonight. He's got a little job to do. Remember that it is the progress, the middle of the action that you are focusing on, not the beginning or the ending. Another situation to use future continuous is when you expect something to happen in the future because it is routine or arranged before. Future robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. Hermione knows when the train is supposed to arrive and tells her new friends. I expect we'll be arriving soon. Let's think of some more examples. Imagine your grandma calls you every Saturday not missing a week. It's Saturday today and so you expect her to do the same. You say, my grandma will be calling today. She always does on Saturdays. Or you know that Mr. Wright teaches English to freshmen. You're going to be freshman next year, so it's safe to assume that next year Mr. Wright will be teaching you English. Future continuous will also come in handy if you ever need to ask someone politely about their plans in quite a formal setting. Will you be attending the Quidditch game, Professor McGonagall? That's what you're going to say. Now hang in with me, people. Just one more tense and we'll finally complete the future puzzle. Please welcome Future Perfect Continuous. Some students think it's a nightmare, but in fact, it is extremely easy because it has just one case of usage. This case is quite distinctive and so you'll never mistake it for anything else. But first, the structure. Will have been plus verb with ing ending won't have been plus verb with ing ending. As with the future perfect simple, keep in mind the contracted forms will of and love. And now the meaning. Imagine your physics teacher started explaining something at 10 a.m. It's 10 to 12. He is still talking and isn't going to stop. So we can say that in 10 minutes your physics teacher will have been explaining the topic for two hours. Or let's take Harry for example. Remember the scene? Have you heard Harry Potter's The New Gryffindor Seeker? I always knew he'd do well. Now Harry is in his first year at Hogwarts and he has become a seeker. So next year he'll have been playing Quidditch for a year. What about you? How long will you have been studying English, say, next summer? You're going to continue your studies, right? In that case, stay tuned.